trying. <laughs> this is the, the gate. We have this new gate here. Grumpy old man is helping me. And uh, we have lots of help. So I don't know how much of this I can actually get. Because if I open that gate, we're going to have kids everywhere. She's itching her head on the fence. Um, so we'll start um, filling that water or two, Dad, while we're out here. Right. And then um, we'll get to work on this. If I can find someplace safe to put the camera from all these yahoos. Um, <laughs> this is what yeah, happens. Yeah, I know. The second little thing going in and we're gonna the thing that we found was that if we butt those extra um, little screws up against the pipe it makes this really secure Woo! safety <laughs> makes this really secure with that wire there so we don't have a welding torch is why we are doing this we don't have a way to cut a hole in this and put anchors on it for a gate so we are modifying. Um, all the pipe was done by Lee's dad who was a welder and we don't do that kind of stuff so we just kind of are modifying and our answer was to put a post um, right there and these little things that we're putting in put them, butt them up against the um, pipe and then that one wire is going to tighten it all down so we're okay with that. Okay, so we have a fully functioning fence. The only thing we have for extra support, um, if it's, it's really on there, is this little wire right here. And we're going to leave it. I'm going to find a way to tuck it up in there or something. But, um, yeah, the gate is finally hung. Let's go right over here. And ta-da! Before it was wired up there and we couldn't use it. So now I've got it up. And it's just because it takes me um, two hands, like two people, to help keep it well, to help keep these sheep out here and these out there while I work on the gate. So, super happy. It's an easy, easy fix. And like I said, we've wired that, uh, set that post right in front of the other post. And it's not like we're losing anything because it's right in the um, fence line. And it solves the problem of I don't own a welder. Okay, so... We're getting ready to open this gate. We have not used it previously, but I'm going to run the little babies back over into their pen tonight. I'm going to close this and that and let the big calves in here to clean up that big pile of hay over there. So we're going to unfortify it. It's been fortified for sheep and I don't want, the only reason we're taking off is this stuff. A horse will get their foot caught in it and it causes issues. So. Um, we're just kind of dealing with little things, getting things where we can move them around the way we intended to. But um, one of the things we wanted was to be able to bypass different things. Um, and we put in gates. <laughs> Silly cat. We put in gates that um, we didn't know if we'd ever use. So today we uncovered this one. The cattle have no, <laughs> Miss Longhorn, she's always the first one up. But... There is also a section of this, and it was just planning that we did earlier. Didn't know if we would actually ever use it or not. But if we decide we no longer want this divided and we want this big pen, this cattle panel comes right down and it leaves a big opening for the cattle to go through. And then, of course, a gate. And I just passed the young calves through here. These two gates both open this way so that they can just pass from pen to pen. And it's really actually kind of nice. Um, we have a gate over there that passes out into the pasture. <laughs> she, <laughs> Miss Longhorn. Let me just open this gate. You actually can pass from this pin into that pin without disturbing anything in this pin by arrowing the gates or vice versa. Then these two can pass from here to there, vice versa, without disturbing anything in any of the other pins. And the same thing with, um, that one out there so there's six gates that allow things to pass into other sections without disturbing what's in certain pens so it's pretty good i think it works pretty good it's the first time that we've added this gate and this to it so we'll see how it goes um it's just one of those deals where we're not sure how things are going to go 